everybody, Linnea. This is a um, video response to um, Kelly Bell. Um, Kelly's got a new um, channel and it's um, it's called Kelly Bell Stitches. And on this channel she's going to be doing all um, her cross stitching uh, videos and knitting and sewing and things like that and through Kelly um, she's got me to pull out some things that um, I've done and some that I've not finished. Um, as some of you will know that um, I did start a long time ago with um, cross stitch. That was before I got into card making um, and it, it was a friend that said no, I don't do cross stitch anymore. Um, I found something um, quicker. It grows quicker and um, it doesn't take as long to do. And that was when I got into doing making cards. So I've not done any cross stitch for a long time. Um, but I did used to do cross stitch. That was the first... Um, yeah, hobby, other than knitting, um, I used to be interested in. Uh, that was from like leaving school at 17. Um, I did some sewing when I was at school. I did, um, it's um, a green pepper and it's, it's the inside of a green pepper. Um, in stitches and other pieces of material. I'm not quite sure where it is at the minute, but when I find it, I will. Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you it because um, it, it is quite old. <laughs> but um, yeah, the first I can show you that now. I think the first thing I I made. And that was when I was at school. It was a needle case. That was the first project we ever made. Um, have I got it here? Because I've got quite a lot of things. I'm surrounded with it at the minute. I'm trying to organise myself. And it's not happening. As you all know, <laughs> it doesn't, does it? Um, yeah. It's here, and I still use this since I've started crafting again. Um, I got it out of the sewing box. And that was the first thing I made, and that was when I was at school. And I, how old would I be? Probably, don't know. It was when I'd gone to um, what we call the big school. So I would have been at least, I went there when I was 11. So probably 12, 11, 12 when I made this. I know it's a bit primitive, but um, I still use it. Um, I made it and it's got my initials on it, LD. Because my, um, my name then was Dobson, as you all know. Um, and yeah, it's well used. Um, it's the original... Um, that's not felt, I'm not quite sure what that's called. But you can see it's got some foxing on it, that's how old it is. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I do use that. I made it. It's never been washed, it's as it comes. Um, that was my first piece of um, sewing. Um, so I'll get back to this now. Um, right, Kelly is... She's got this new channel, as I say. She'd like you to be a subby to both her channels and, of course, be over 18. Comment, comment on the video that she's left uh, and let her know that you're uh, going to do a VR and send her the link if you can. I can't do links, so I'm going to PM Kelly and let her know that I've done this. Um. She'd like you to share it on any other channels that you have, like uh, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, those things. 
the um, or if you've got a blog you can put it on there and if she'd like you to say where she saw the um, video well I saw um, this video for Kelly on uh, Laurie Seabrook's channel when I watched her video um, and I did have a look at some of the floss tube cross stitch um, channels and yeah they're quite interesting and one lady has actually replied to me um, which I've yet to get back to uh, Kelly is old in this because she's nearly at 400 subbies and she is doing a giveaway. Um, the giveaway will be 50 American dollars into, it'll be put into um, an account of your choice for you to spend in that shop. Um, it closes on the 31st of July. And the draw will take place on the 1st of August. So um, what I'm asking is for people who are interested in this sort of thing to um, to go along, have a look at Kelly's video, um, give her some lovely support in her new um, channel, Kelly Bell Stitches. And uh, you never know, it might get you inspired again like it has me. Now, I said I would show um, some of the things that I've made in the past, and Kelly has sent me um, any sent me a message to say she can't wait to see what I've made. Now, as you know, I I made the little needle needle case. Now, when me and Bill got together, he used to say I had more magazines than menses. Now, for everybody who lives in the UK or England, uh, you will know Menzies used to be a news agents. And uh, at that particular time, I did buy every cross-stitch magazine that was on the market every month. I'm sure I did. And I had piles and piles and piles of them when Bill came uh, to live with me. Um, that was before we got married uh, because we lived together for two years before we did get married. Anyway, um, I have got, as I say, I've got rid of a lot of them. I do have a big box of magazines and books at the um, caravan, so I'll have to go through those and see what there is of any interest for anybody. So, I did find, when I'd got my um, sewing, sewing, uh, bag out because this is my sewing bag that I uh, and it says so easy on it and it's a it's a zip one with handles that's one of them I have two of those plus I have this one as well um, I've got this bag as well but um, there's some of the things that I can't find now, this magazine that was in one of those bags, um, this is how long I've been doing, as I say, it, Britain's number one cross-stitcher, um, this was called, and it is February 2008. So, I, as you know, I've been doing it quite a while, and I've been doing it longer than 2008. Um, this is a magazine, now I, I'm not quite sure what is in here for why I've kept this I don't I, I don't know I've had a quick flick through it and I don't know but there are some interesting um, things in here um, unless I kept it for the lady that's a lovely um, pattern of the the vintage uh, lady there uh, 1920s she looks like to me yeah that's her there 1920s lady that's probably why I kept it because they, they they will have done a series of them um, it says 60 hours um, I don't know the kidding because um, these things take time they take me a lot longer than 60 hours I'll tell you 
Um, so that what that's what was in this magazine. There's the phone case. Um, so that's that. Oh, oh, and in the back of these things, you used to get a conversion chart. Now that is um, that is anchor. I know there's DMC, but in England we have something called anchor. Um, I do. I've got to admit, I have more anchor than I do have DMC. Um, they're all the colours that they have in the anchor, and the little tick boxes are so you can tick when you've got the colours. Now I do have a convert. That's not a conversion chart, but it's similar to that. And at the side of it, it gives you equivalent in DMC, so you can convert the colour across if you if you've got both, which I do have. Um, and then uh, I, I love William Morris and um, yeah I don't mean my husband I mean um, you know the wallpaper designer and he was one of the one of the greats in the day um, and this is The Art of William Morris in Cross Stitch by Barbara Hammett. Now, this is how old this. I've had this. I started doing this. And this is. And it's not finished, and I would like to finish it. It is. Um, a bell pull. And that is. That is the bell pull. There. Um. What I, I used to do is I used to photocopy it so that I wasn't using the book. Um, I've took the dust cover off the book and I'm not quite sure where that is but I won't have thrown it away because I, I'll have taken it off because I didn't want to, um, to bend it or anything. But this is all patterns of William Morris and this is my bell, bell pull. Um, cross stitch I did try blocking it off uh, which I I've not done that for a long time and this is the um, as you can see this is the top half of the bell pull and that's as far as I've got with it and really I ought to finish this because I love it I, I do love it and I need to get back into it so I'd like to say thank you, Kelly, for um, getting me back into um, the cross stitch. So that is, um, and that's that's the pattern in colour in in two halves. So that's that. There's lots of um, really nice things in this book. Um, they're the um, Br'er Rabbit, um, William Morris's Br'er Rabbits. Um, it's gorgeous. Sorry this is evening and you're getting glare, I'm sorry. Um, what else do we have in this book? There's an alphabet in the book. Um, glasses case um, oh there's some um, set of four pictures there which are supposed to be four seasons I think um, tapestry pictures it says there's poppies um, are there tulips those and then there's um, a thistle I'm not quite sure what that one is um, so that's that Something I had finished was, let me put my, that's telling me what my um, coloured threads are. So there's two things I have finished that I've found here. I've got some other things that I've not come across yet, but I will, I will get them out. Um, this was um, free on, on a, a magazine 
um, a long time ago, and it's um it's a coaster. It came with the um, that's the coaster and that's the backing for it, and then you put that in there and put the back into it, and it's a little Christmas coaster with um, bells and holly. So I did finish that, Kelly. Uh, that's one of my finished projects. Um, also, a long time ago, we used to have a lady. Well, she's still around, as far as I know. Jane Greenoff. She's a lovely lady. She does. Um, she used to have a magazine as well. I don't know whether I've got rid of those as well. And. Um, yeah, this was free with Jane Greenoff's um, Cross Stitch magazine. I used to get that as well. And this was a little freebie on the front. And it's a little notebook, Cross Stitch, forever it says. And it, I've never used it. That's Jane there. That's Jane. And um, that was a freebie. And I, I did actually finish that. And it's the embroidery scissors with the floss. And... Um, their little bobbins of floss and um, it says stitches notes so I did finish that um, my biggest project um, was um, lavender and lace um, angel the ice angel I've not come across the pattern for a I don't know where that is at the minute but this was in one of my um, needle bags and this was the, um, this is the linen. It is, I'm not quite sure what count this is now. I know it's a very fine, very fine count. I think it's 32, I think. And as far as I've got is a wing. Because she, she goes this way. It's quite a big piece is this when it's done. I fell in love with this and that's... A, that's as, <laughs> that's as much as I'm in love with it. That's as far as I've got. I've got um, a wings done there. It is very, it is very intense. Is the work in this? Um, I really need to. And there's um, also in here. There's um, gold thread in it and beads. And I love the lavender and lace um, angels. And she was the ice angel, if anybody knows what the ice angel looked like. I've got a stain on the material there as well. I'm going to have to see if I can get that out. Um, so, yeah, that was in there, but the pattern's not there. And then the reason I got what got one of those bags, it was, what was it called? Um, it was a book club. And it was uh, down in Devon somewhere, Newton Abbott, um, a book club. I don't think they're going anymore. Um, and I got the bag and some hoops, plus this. And I love this as well. This is um, Fair Whitaker. And it's All I Yesterdays in Cross Stitch. And if anybody's seen Fair's photographs, they're beautiful. And there's 30 three charming designs of bygone days in in this book and um, it's just lovely this that's one of um, that's one of the photographs and as I say um, yeah that's one of Faye's photographs and the there it's all on a seaside theme um, Uh, but not all of these are uh, seaside. There's fairground, Christmas, um, Christmas trees. Um, that's that's the original uh, picture, and then these are the cross stitch. Um, two children posting a letter in an old-fashioned uh, post box. What else do we have in here? Um, yeah, there's three little girls with a dog on the beach. That's quite cute. And then there's 
there's a, a little child with its companion, the dog and the ball, watching the boats at sea. So, yeah. I'm, I'm glad um, Kelly's doing this. Um, it's got me inspired to, to pick it back up again. Um, that's one of the scenes I like. It's called Boat Race. And it's uh, the mum with the two children watching the yacht race. And they're waving to the to the boat to the yachts. So um, yeah. So as I say, if you don't know Kelly, please go along and give this lady some lovely YouTube support with a new adventure in her new channel, um, Kelly Bell Stitches. And I will look and pull some other pieces out um, that I've done. Uh, one of the pieces I did, it was a free pattern. I can't remember the channel now. It was a long time ago and it was for, um, I think, stillbirth babies. And they they give free um, cross-stitch patterns out for you to, um, to make these cross-stitch little sampler things. I'm not quite sure where, whether they were for sale or what now, I can't remember. It's a long time ago. But, um, yeah, please um, give um, Kelly your support. And, uh, as I say, I've got some other things hanging about. Well, not hanging about. Uh, probably in the loft somewhere, I think. Um, but I, as I come across them, I will put a video up of them. So thank you all for watching and uh, thank you Kelly and I'll, uh, I'll see you all later. Bye.